Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a LEGO DC Super Heroes news video. Today we are looking at a brand new set releasing on October 1st. This is set number 76328. This is the classic TV series Batmobile. This is going to be retailing for, I believe, $149.99 USD. So that'll be $199.99 Canadian. And it has 1,822 pieces. The, like, that's really shocking to me, the price, for some reason. I feel like that's really low for something this large, this size. You compare this to the 89 one, which at the time was 250 It did have about a 1,000 pieces more. But still, I, I don't know, just the scale of this is, I guess, the thing that I'm not able to get over. But I am not, like, the biggest 1966 classic TV series Adam West fan. But this is one of the coolest Batmobile designs we have ever seen. And it's one of the most iconic. So I'm actually really surprised that it has taken us this long to get this set. Just because like this should have happened a long time ago given how well the 89 one did and the Tumblr did. But like it just looks gorgeous. Like the shaping of this. There's so many like really cool curves and slopes throughout this. I really love the glass cockpit pieces. Those look really, really cool. There are so many stickers and prints throughout this thing. I'm going to guess that they're mostly all stickers, but there's just like, there's so much going on. You could see here from this one lifestyle image, like there's a, a compass um, on the top there of in front of the steering wheel. On the steering wheel, there's something. There's stuff in behind the steering wheel. There's these buttons that I can't make out from this picture, but there's stuff there. You could see on the back, there's even more orange little display things. There's a thing there that says the nail spreader. There's the license plate underneath. Of course, on the side, there's the Batmobile symbol. There's just so much going on, and of course, like other sets, there's a plaque, but there's no stand it doesn't look like to sort of rotate this around. So kind of disappointed with that. Maybe I'll make my own just so that it does match up with the other Batmobiles. And speaking of matching up with other Batmobiles, there is a minifigure included. And this is a new figure technically because he actually has this new cape that was introduced from the Batman the Animated Series set. And it's all in dark blue. So that's kind of neat. I like that we have a new color for that. I feel like we're just going to be getting this every time that we get Batman probably going forward. So I believe the torso is the exact same. The legs are different though because the ones from the last Batmobile that we got for the show, they had dark blue legs. These are light gray legs. And then the face is also different. It's a darker skin color and it's also just a different expression. That smile is different than the one that we got before. So that's new. And I'm not entirely sure about the cowl, but I'm pretty sure that is the exact same cowl. I don't like the gargoyle that he's standing on, that sort of building corner. I don't think that that fits for the 1966 show. M maybe I have not seen every episode. I have not read the comics and different things, the stuff that they continued on afterwards. But from the stuff that I've seen, it just doesn't fit. I think a simple little corner build or something maybe even some fun little reference to him climbing up the side of a building or something i don't know i just don't think that really fits if you ask me also on top of things there's only one figure if you look at every other large batmobile we've ever gotten it at least had two minifigures so the fact that it's just batman is so disappointing like it's it's so iconic it's a two-seater batmobile for batman and Robin, how on earth are you not giving us Robin here? Why are you creating new prints here when you could just, you know, hopefully reuse the ones that we got recently? Probably they might be out of retirement, but still, I'm so sad that Robin's not here. And I know that that is going to upset so many people. We have not gotten that Robin since the Batcave set. So people have been really waiting to get him in another way, especially if you missed out on that. But also, if you look at all those other Batmobiles, the Joker was also included. So I, I don't necessarily want that Joker again, but it still should have had at least one other person. That's so sad. And then again, some way to display the, the stand or something. I, I don't know. I just that seems so boring to have it standing on its own. Anyways, everyone, what do you think of this Batmobile? I think it it looks really cool. I'm just so excited for this, which is surprising. I'm not a car guy. I have no attachment to the show, but I love red and I love, 
you know, Batman and Batmobiles. So, you know, I, I'm excited for this. But I believe this is the last thing for DC for the year. But we are going to be hearing stuff, hopefully, and seeing stuff for 2025 soon. So be sure to subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on future videos for that. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope you all have a great day. We'll see you all in the next one.